Okay, this how-to video is going to go through um, how to move and rotate components uh, inside AutoCAD and Allegro PCB editor. So I've got a, a command edit move um, that gets driven effectively um, by the fine filter. So whatever's enabled in the fine filter will then allow me to kind of select. So obviously you can see I can hover all I'm getting at the moment is text because that's what's in the fine filter. If we turn all objects on, I then get the symbol based object, which is the item I wish to move. If I look at the options menu, I've got different settings for obviously the rotation angle, uh, the, the, the origin point when I'm picking it up, uh, and the rotation, whether it's an incremental or an absolute angle that I want to set, and then these three options for rip up, slide, and, and stretch. So if I pick a part, I start to move with, with nothing selected, it's literally just going to rip everything up, uh, moves the component, leaves the tracks where they are. If I enable the rip up etch, the actual um, the tracking gets ripped up completely, or the C lines get ripped up completely, and I'm, I'm going to have to I would have to reroute that once it's been placed. If I enable the stretch etch, then what happens is I get this kind of non-orthogonal point to the last C line segment, um, and I can then go and place the component, and then use the slide command or the the, the add connect command to re re do the, the the routing in that scenario. And then finally, there's something called slide etch, which, which would move the component and try and do its best to kind of give me an orthogonal result, um, which is fine when I'm moving parts around. If I want to start to think, look at things like rotating, let's do a right click rotate. I can then obviously rotate based on the angle setting that I have here. And again, it would do its best to kind of keep the, the routing orthogonally in control. Um, we can change the angle of this routing. So if I wanted to do 11 degrees, obviously you can rotate at 11 degrees. And that's all fine. And you can do that from the options menu. 451. Maybe let's try 45 to find the part and put this down. If I start to move apart with more connections again, the slides or etch will, will will control that and give me a little bit more control over where I'm going to have to place the parts and be from a routing point of view. Um, once we end that command, obviously this is all in the general edit mode. If we go into the placement edit mode, I haven't got a final component, but um, I've got a module here, I can use the tab key to cycle through to the symbol and then move the part again. And again, that's behaving used on the, the move command settings that we have. You've got right click rotate um, to adjust the settings here as well. 